Undoubtedly, SpaceX's Starship is the most extraordinary invention humans have ever worked on. This 120-meter space mammoth is designed to carry not just satellites, but also 100 passengers per flight. And this number is probably going to increase in the future. Because all of those great things, NASA chose Starship to be an important part of returning humans to the moon after 50 years. So, what would life inside the SpaceX Lunar Starship be like? Find out about this and more in today's exciting episode of Great SpaceX. Elon Musk is holding the keys to the moon because SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket launch is crucial to NASA's return. Unlike the Apollo missions, NASA's rockets will not take astronauts all the way down to the moon. The crew will launch to the moon's orbit aboard NASA's Orion spacecraft strapped to the top of its new Space Launch System, or SLS, while a Starship, which will launch separately, will act as the mission's lunar lander. Once the mission is finished, Starship will bring the crew back to Orion on their way back to Earth before the crew abandons Starship in lunar orbit. That means NASA plans for a SpaceX-built rocket, which the agency commissioned to be the rocket putting boots on the moon for the first time since 1972. NASA's dependence on Starship was evident when Nelson asked Gwynne Shotwell, the president of SpaceX, whether Musk's Twitter acquisition would affect the company's mission with the agency. Shotwell assured him that he had nothing to worry about. About. However, after the first Starship orbital flight explosion, NASA is worried that SpaceX's giant new Starship vehicle won't be ready to carry astronauts to the surface of the moon in late 2025 as currently planned. So now, while SpaceX is working towards the next test of Starship, they are also working on the design of the Starship lunar lander. In fact, last year, NASA released a new document that features photos of SpaceX's Starship lunar lander elevator and airlock prototype. SpaceX says it is working with NASA to ensure crew safety and performance. The elevator will be used to bring astronauts down to the lunar surface. The document is a set of presentation slides with images of Artemis astronauts checking out the elevator and airlock, including an image labeled Crew Cabin VR Evaluation. It's probably a virtual reality video simulator of how the Starship cabin interior will look like and operate. The document does not provide elaborate information or technical details about the system. Aside from the elevator required going from the crew cabin to the surface. It's a very tall lander. It doesn't look like the traditional landers that we've all seen in the past, so it can be hard to reconcile that mentally, Lisa Watson Morgan, manager of the Human Landing System program said. Meanwhile, the interior designs are still being discussed. Actually, when contemplating the interior of a Starship, we encounter a myriad of possibilities. The Starship Enterprise offered its crew luxurious condos ensuring their comfort during their extended voyages across the galaxy. In contrast, the Millennium Falcon presented a mishmash of tubes and cabins suitable for the rugged lifestyle of space smugglers. The HLS Starship by SpaceX, however, aims to find the perfect equilibrium between comfort and functionality, providing ample space and amenities to assuage any claustrophobic concerns on the journey to the moon and back. Indeed, SpaceX's Starship interior design is not just about functionality, but also about aesthetics and comfort. Comfort. The company aims to make space travel more comfortable and enjoyable for passengers. The Starship is designed to carry up to 100 people, which means the interior space needs to be both spacious and comfortable. The interior is sleek and futuristic with minimalistic design. The walls and floors are made of light-colored materials that give the interior a bright and airy feel. The large windows provide a breathtaking view of space and the Earth, adding to the overall experience. The design team has also paid attention to lighting, ensuring that it is soft and not harsh on the eyes. In terms of comfort, the Starship offers reclining seats that can be adjusted for maximum comfort. The cabin also has temperature and humidity controls to ensure that passengers are comfortable during the journey. The air circulation system is designed to minimize odors and ensure that the air is fresh and breathable. Starship also features an entertainment system that includes large screens that can display a range of content, from movies to interactive games. The cabin is also equipped with a high-speed internet connection that allows passengers to stay connected with the world during their journey. The SpaceX Starship interior design is not only visually appealing and comfortable, but also incorporates cutting-edge technology. The spacecraft is designed to carry a large number of people and cargo to various destinations, including the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Therefore, the interior is equipped with advanced technology to ensure the safety and comfort of the crew. One of the technological innovations that the Starship 
Starship boasts is a regenerative life support system. The system is responsible for generating and recycling breathable air, potable water, and other resources required for the crew's survival. This feature is particularly essential for longer missions, such as trips to Mars where resupply missions may be infrequent. Another technological feature of the Starship interior is the spacecraft's communication and navigation systems. The interior is equipped with state-of-the-art communication and navigation systems that are critical for keeping the crew connected and on course. The systems also include redundant backups to ensure the crew's safety and the mission's success. Moreover, the SpaceX Starship interior design also incorporates other advanced technologies such as 3D printing and the manufacturing of some of its components. This approach allows for faster and more efficient production, reducing the spacecraft's weight and cost. The functionality of SpaceX's Starship's interior design is also one of its major features. The Starship has been designed to accommodate up to 100 passengers, and its interior layout and features have been designed to provide comfort, convenience, and safety during space travel. The Starship HLS's cabin is designed with a modular architecture that allows it to be reconfigured for different missions, such as carrying cargo or serving as a research laboratory. The interior also includes a spacious common area that can be used as a meeting room or a place to socialize during long missions. The interior of the spacecraft also features a highly advanced life support system that is designed to provide a comfortable environment for the crew and passengers. The system includes air purification and recycling, temperature and humidity control, and radiation shielding to protect against the harsh environment of space. Additionally, the spacecraft is equipped with cutting-edge technology that allows for autonomous operation and navigation, as well as advanced safety features such as emergency escape systems and backup propulsion systems. Overall, the functionality of the SpaceX Starship's interior design has been carefully planned and executed to provide a safe, comfortable, and versatile environment for crew and passengers during space travel. Why, even the Starship's restroom is designed to be both functional and private. The restroom is located at the rear of the spacecraft and is designed to provide maximum privacy for passengers. The design of the restroom is based on modern airplane restrooms, but it is more spacious and functional. In short, it'll definitely be a comfortable and relaxing trip. But like most of you always remind me, Starship still needs to fly successfully first. Once SpaceX gets the pad and surrounding infrastructure fixed, however long that might take, Starship still needs to get into orbit, something increasingly questionable to occur in 2023. Then the heat shield on the ship needs to be evaluated via an actual re-entry profile, which can't happen until Super Heavy and its Raptor engines can reliably reach stage separation, something that the first flight has revealed also needs more work. But it doesn't get any easier from there. Both Super Heavy and the ship will need to be reliably recovered. This is a reusable rocket system after all, and the former is expected to be caught using catch arms on the launch tower, something so crazy it might just work. After that, SpaceX still needs to develop a tanker variant of Starship, prove out in-space cryogenic propellant transfer, something that's never been done before, and build an in-space depot that has minimal propellant boil-off, also a spaceflight first. While all of that is ongoing, a lunar Starship prototype will also have to be built, flown, and flight tested on the moon well in advance of a crewed Artemis landing before doing it all over again for the crewed landing. Well folks, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the amazing progress going on at SpaceX. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.